Hi everyone. I'm very happy to be here with Energy Minister Sonia Savage to share some exciting details about an agreement that Alberta is signing with the provinces of Ontario, Saskatchewan and New Brunswick to explore the potential of small-scale nuclear power. Alberta is joining a memorandum of understanding with our fellow provincial partners to support the development and deployment of small modular reactors. This safe emerging technology has the potential to provide needed power to remote communities, to lower emissions, and further to diversify Alberta's energy sector. Now, as the name implies, small modular reactors, or SMRs, are smaller and much more flexible than conventional nuclear reactors. In fact, they're small enough to be built in a factory and shipped on a truck, rail, or ship. SMRs also produce clean energy that is scalable to suit local needs, typically generating between 2 and 300 megawatts of electricity. That's about enough power for a village or a small city. In comparison, a conventional nuclear reactor can generate 600 to 1,000 megawatts, which can provide power for a huge metropolitan city. So by signing on to this agreement, this will help Alberta stay at the forefront of the latest development in SMR technology and ensures that we have the appropriate regulatory framework in place should private industry decide to pursue it in the future. Sonia, what advantages does Alberta have when it comes to developing uh, SMR technology? Well, thank you, Premier. Um, and although uh, we're still relatively at the early design and research stage, Alberta has a lot of advantages that could make us an attractive destination to deploy SMRs. First, we have a long history of responsible and innovative energy development, and we have a respected innovation and research sector, as well as a highly t technical and skilled educated workforce. We also have an established regulatory system. Now many people are probably not aware that Alberta is also home to one of the greatest uranium resources in the entire world. The Athabasca Basin straddles the northern Alberta-Saskatchewan border and has a reliable and enormous supply of fuel for these types of reactors. So uh, how could Alberta use SMR technology do you think in the future? Well, small modular reactors could provide reliable, non-emitting, low-cost energy supply for on-grid and off-grid communities all around Alberta, including many in remote and rural areas of the province. And one of the potentials that I'm really excited about is use within Alberta's oil sands. Oil sands facilities are often very far remote and are off-grid. They require a lot of heat and power to operate. And SMRs are versatile and scalable to meet those facilities' needs, while also pr providing clean, non-emitting sources of affordable energy. So this sounds very promising, uh, Sonia. So how soon do you think we could use this technology here in Alberta? Well, as, as uh, I mentioned earlier, this is still an emerging technology. It's in its early stages of design and development. But there's about 150 different proposed designs being developed around the world. And that reflects both the excitement and the potential for these small modular reactors. And while timelines are dependent on a lot of things, including the regulatory process and technology deployment, we think they could be available globally within 10 years. So lastly, we know that some Albertans may have concerns when they think of nuclear power generation. So what would you say to them about safety concerns, environmental concerns and the like? Well, we always understand uh, that there are concerns and safety is always our number one priority. It just always is. And although they're still early in their design, SMR researchers have reiterated that the smaller scale uh, in terms of both power output and physical size helps to mitigate the risk. There's also a number of proposed enhanced features under development to support the deployment of SMRs. Uh, and in addition to that, there would be subject to a very, very, very rigorous federal and provincial environmental approval process with standards that are the highest of anywhere in the entire world that ensures that the appropriate balances, safety measures are all in place. Now, some folks have asked me, uh, Sonia, why Alberta didn't sign this memorandum of understanding with the other provinces earlier, and the answer is that it, originally the, the, the two pro provinces with current nuclear power generation programs are 
Ontario, New Brunswick, and they're fueled by uranium out of Saskatchewan. So they started the, the got the ball rolling, but we're very keen to be part of this. So uh, it's important to underscore folks that as Tanya just said, safety comes first. And as we continue to take actions that support Alberta's economic recovery to get past the COVID crisis, Alberta's government promises to explore all opportunities that could diversify our economy and create jobs while also reducing our emissions by supplying clean, affordable energy to Alberta communities. And this will also help, it should uh, this be embraced by industry in the future with this new regulatory framework, it would also help our oil and gas industry by reducing their emissions. So with our provincial partners across the country, uh, we, we intend to stay ahead of the game in the development of this promising technology. So thank you very much, Sonia, and look forward to future developments on this front.